In this video we're going to see how to manage your Shopify inventory from Brightpearl. So let's have a look at a few basic concepts first. Mainly the fact that all products on all systems need to have unique SKUs and these SKUs need to be the same across all of your different systems. The SKU, the stock keeping unit, is the unique identifier for all of your products and they need to be less than 32 characters so that they work with Brightpearl. So if your Shopify store is not set up like that, that's the first thing you need to do. So next I'll introduce this concept of on-hand inventory. So Brightpearl has in stock, which is a different stock level from on-hand. And it's the on-hand inventory that gets synchronized with your Shopify store. When Brightpearl updates your Shopify inventory, you can choose the on-hand level to come from one warehouse, some warehouses, or all of your Brightpearl warehouses. But when you're downloading orders from Shopify, any inventory is only allocated from one store. This is probably best explained on a little graphic. So what we've got here is two different Shopify stores. We've got a B2C store and a B2B store. For the first store, we require inventory from all warehouses to be available. So what that means is we sum all of the on-hand levels from all of our warehouses. So six, two, and four means we've got 12 of this item available on store one. But the second store is a B2B store and we only want to have available inventory from our mail order warehouse, which means for the same product, we only show four on this Shopify store. Both Shopify stores download sales into the mail order warehouse because that's where they'll be usually shipped from. Which means that if you sell something that's not in this warehouse, you need to transfer it from your other stores or ship that item direct from the New York store or the San Diego store. There's a separate video that shows you how to do partial shipment in the sales order processing video. Okay, so the concept of on hand We've got eight in stock, and two might be allocated, which is essentially reserved for another customer, which leaves six on hand. And it's the on-hand level that gets updated to your stores. This is because sales are happening non-stop 24 hours a day across all of your online sales channels. So maybe somebody buys something on eBay. We're automatically going to allocate the stock to that order, even though you haven't yet shipped it. And that's why on-hand instantaneous inventory updates is so important. Right, now let's have a look at Brightpell to see how this works. We've got two products here, the Pro Kayak Paddle with red blades, and at the moment we've not got any in stock. You can see that the SKUs are Paddle 2 and Paddle 3. In Shopify we've got the same product. Let's go to the Manage Inventory screen, where we'll show the same products, Paddle 2 and Paddle 3 down here. And you can see how even though the product name is different on Shopify, it's the SKU that we're using for correct inventory synchronization. Going back to Brightpearl, what we're going to do now is we're going to add inventory via a purchase order. We've got a purchase order here that's not yet been received, but we've got four of each item. I'll just go to receive inventory and add the items. Brightpearl is now telling Shopify to increase its stock levels so that we now have four in stock. And within a couple of minutes, Shopify will be updated. Let's filter the inventory screen in Shopify just to show the products that we've been working with. Cool, so we have these products now updated to four each. Let's take the scenario where we sell one of these over the phone to a new customer. So we go sales, new quote, create a new customer, James Brown, add a paddle. We can now see we've got four on hand, and we're going to take two, and we're going to charge him 55. We now allocate the inventory, click Allocate All, and save the order. The order is marked as all allocated with this little green tick, and we have four in stock, and yet we only have two on hand, because two are allocated to this order. If we click the SKU here, we can see in the inventory tab that in the main warehouse we've got two allocated and two on hand and in the allocations tab we can see who's got them. This means that Brightpearl is now updating Shopify to reduce the quantity of the 2.2 meter to two. Going across to our Shopify store, if we just refresh the screen, we can see now the quantity's gone down to two. And those are the basics of managing inventory on Shopify with Brightpearl.